with the onset of winters in Gurgaon, it always feels like Christmas is just there. And now today, Christmas Eve is just hours away. Decorating the house for Christmas just feels good spirits and happiness all around. And this video is all about that. I had this two set of lamps and it looked really beautiful on that console table. And by mistake, it got broken by my daughter. She was very upset to do that. But then, each thing that gets broken is replaced by new ideas, new thoughts and new creations. We changed the decor and made space for a cookie platter. I DIY'd these bottle brushes and placed them here and there everywhere I and on the console table I tried and create a small little village kind of a feel. Christmas it sometimes reminds me of snow and so does Ishi also thinks that Christmas should be wintry. You know like a frozen movie Arendelle. And she always wishes that if some Olaf will come and talk to her. I thought I'll make some gluten free cookies as Anshuman is gluten intolerant and I also wanted him to enjoy this. All the delicacies that we make for Christmas. It's a very simple recipe. I use almond flour and oats flour to create these delicious mouth melting cookies. It just took me almost 20-30 minutes to prepare the whole thing but it added so much delight in the house. Cooking and baking for your loved ones is one thing that just gives me so much pleasure. Kind of it takes away the stress when you see them enjoying these little delicacies. And these small little things makes such wonderful memories. Those tiny hands, you wish them that they are always full of goodies and happiness. My daughter likes to paint and she painted this beautiful Grinch picture after we finished watching the Grinch movie. She also had a, a Grinch party and that hangover is showing everywhere in my house.
and 2020 Christmas cannot be over without a sanitizer bottle at entrance. I always wished for a white Christmas and so does Ishi and it so happens that mostly during this time of the year we are always traveling to some warm place mostly some beach or we visit to our parents it's never so happens that we have been to any cold country or a cold place and never seen snow during Christmas time but I just find it so magical this is my favorite corner in this living room I sit and enjoy my morning coffees. She does like to write letters to Santa. She has her own wish list. And I'm not surprised. I think all kids in the world, they have their own secret wish list and their own demands for Santa. She wants to record that when Santa comes on the camera and she wishes that she could meet Santa one day. I just wonder if it is actually even true. I also want to know that actually if any North Pole exists. Maybe I just want to wish from Santa that just bless us all and take us all away from this pandemic situation bring more health bring more happiness to the world bring more kindness to the world we just so badly need this right now there are so many sufferings around us and you can just feel the pain
For dinner, I decided to keep it really simple but yet delicious. I thought I'll cook some nice mushroom pasta. I added a little bit of broccoli and lots of mushrooms. I'll be tossing the same sauce in two types of pasta, macaroni for ras and some gluten-free fettuccine for ranchama. After dinner, just to create a perfect ambience sometimes you need some settings if would would have been any other year we would have gone out for a dinner but maybe it's time we realize that these things can be beautifully recreated at home as well Christmas movie binge watching is one of the best thing to do during this winter time and post dinner we decided to do just that we decided on movie clause and we started watching it i don't know when we both slept we didn't even realize that Our morning start on a very slow note. I know a lot of people like to finish most of their chores in early morning. Neither of us is a, I would say a morning person. We both need a lot of caffeine to just kick start the morning. And making the tea is one big of a ritual for me. I take my time taking and washing each herb and spices. The smell and aroma of it it opens all the senses and just helps me with the energy and calmness for the whole hectic day ahead of me. it might not be the fastest start for the day but it kind of sets the pace it kind of sets up the mood for the hectic day ahead i just sometimes feel why hurry i mean life is already so busy it's already so fast moving sometimes it's good to start slow sometimes it's good to just slow down and just enjoy the moment life can't be a race all the time sometimes it has to be an easy breezy walk for me the tea is not just tea for me it is the time when me and anshuman have our own quiet and sometimes very talkative mornings when we like to discuss a lot of things 
or sometimes we are just reading our own our own mundane news but still sitting together it's a reminder for us that being together is important despite of likes and dislikes good and bad whatever happens in life this kettle got burnt once because anjuman wanted to surprise me with a beautiful morning tea and right when he was doing that he got a call early morning call from office and he totally forgot that he put the tea on the stove the whole enamel came out but since internally it's steel we are still continuing using it it's just a reminder to me that he cares for breakfast we decided to make some gluten free pancakes it's just a simple regular pancakes made with gluten free flour nothing too special but it just brightens up the day i feel so we do not like to eat sweet breakfast most of the days but on some special occasions we do enjoy such delicacies She loves pancakes and waffles. Every time I make these pancakes and waffles, it brings a smile on her face. But it's just that that we have to take care of the sugar intake for all of us, be it kid or an adult. I enjoy watching the fizz of the soda when every time I add vinegar on top. I have shared a lot of cake recipes on my channel. I'll share the playlist in the description box in case you are interested. For this pancake, earlier I decided to make it plain, but then I saw there are a couple of bananas lying in my kitchen. I decided to add few of them. And yes, it enhanced the taste.
If you like this video then please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family and consider subscribing to our channel. We post videos each week. Follow us on Instagram at Simply Amazing Life by Kaushiki. We share a lot of content of our life on Instagram as well. And we wish you a Merry Christmas from all of us. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Wish you a very Merry Christmas.